This is JR's point of view from the back. He's watching the cattle looking for any stragglers. This is my point of view from the front. I didn't lead them, but raced around front to capture some video of them moving into the pasture. These are registered South Pole cattle. Today, we're moving them into a new pasture with some cover crop that we planted about 45 days ago. It's a mix that we bought from MVS Seed. It's got about eight or nine different things. I've left the original audio of the cattle in here. What I want you to notice is how quiet it is. Jer may have started them by yelling, come on cows, but that's about it. We move these cows every day. They know what they're doing. They don't need anybody to holler at them and tell them where to go. Today, we moved them completely across the ranch from one side to the other into this new cover crop here. You'll see they're still coming. Our cattle are exclusively grass-fed, so our soil and plant health are very important to us. We took soil and forage samples prior to entering this field. Our cattle often enter that new field, go to the far side, and then they'll turn around. It's as if they're surveying the pasture and then go back to their favorite plants. These are our mamas with our calves. These calves were born in January and February, so they're about five months old now. We'll wean them when they're nine to 10 months old. I know we don't think of South Poles as having horns, but some do. This is a full blood that came from Teddy Gentry's own herd. JR says one of his favorite things is to go out in the pasture and just listen to the cows chomp away at the grass. In this herd right now, we have some two-year-old first calf heifers that are bred. They'll be calving, oh, September, October. This is the first this year that the herd has been on our summer cover crops. They ate the spring covers, then had to tidy up some rye grasses, getting maybe just a little bit past its prime. But now we've gotten back onto some good summer cover crops. The herd is now almost all into the pasture. Once it is, what you'll see in a few minutes is that the mama cows start calling their calves and they're gonna pair up. South Poles are good mamas and won't leave their calves behind. It's not going to take them but a minute or two to get this done. They're going to pair up pretty quickly with calves this age and I move this calm. You may have noticed at the beginning of the video when the cattle entered the pasture that the cattle egrets came with them. They've been sitting on that back fence there patiently waiting. And now that everything's in the pasture, they're starting to filter in with the cows to take care of bugs and parasites and other things like that.
While these cows and calves finish pairing up, I want to draw your attention that we haven't even seen JR yet. He was a ways behind them. He wasn't pushing them hard. He was just looking for any stragglers or anything that might not be feeling well today. We use effective stockmanship. It's a quiet way to move cattle, a way that use their natural instincts to make them go where they think they want to go, which just happens to be where we want them to go. As the cattle disappear off into the forage, I'd like to take this opportunity to show you some pictures that I took of some of the plants that were in this cover crop. There were sunflowers. And sun hemp. There were three kinds of millet. And there was sorghum sudan. There's soy. iron and clay cow peas, and buckwheat. Rotationally grazing cover crops makes for happy cows. <laughs>